to enable.org presents mathematical literacy. Scales, maps and plans, lesson number two. We are busy working with uh, work that I got from Everything Maths's website. Remember, you click on read a textbook. After read a textbook, you have to click on read math literacy and we are busy with maps and plans and scales. Understanding the advantages and disadvantages of each scale. By now, you should have understood how to use number and bar scales to measure real dimensions and distance on the ground. When given a scale map, when given a scale map, sorry, what happens if you resize a map like I just did? Um, for example, you want to make small photocopies of a map of your school to hand out for an event taking place. In the next example, we will explore the effects on the number and bar scales when we resize maps. Okay, so now it's printed, but it's funnily, but this is a f examples, and here are these two. Okay, so the scales is 1 to 15, 1 to 15, and this is nodes to 15 and nodes to to 15. So what actually they did, they took the same picture and they just resized it. Same picture and then just resized it. Measure the width of the school bag and use the scale to calculate the width of the school bag. Okay, so it's this one. And if you were to use the memo, um, you have to use 3 centimeters. So let's say we've measured this and we got 3 centimeters. The biggest school bag, if you were to measure this, on the correct example you get 5 centimeters and then we are going to notice something so you have to please calculate it and notice something and then measure the, this school bag and then use the scale so we're going to take the scale like we did in the, uh, the previous exercise and we're going to say well we can fit this bit is exactly the same as that bit and how many times can we fit it in? Do you understand? Okay, etc. And then we're going to do with this, the same with the second one. So it's a little bit longer. So to fit it in, it will go a little bit further. Right. Um, what do you notice? And then you have to write a sentence. Um, but we'll get to that answer. The next one. If Okay, so now here is the conclusion. Unfortunately, sorry, I'm giving it away, giving away the surprise. If you resize a map and um, that has a number scale on it, the number scale becomes incorrect. If a map is 10 centimeter wide when uh, when printed and the number scale is 1 to 10, then 1 centimeter on the map represents 10 centimeter on the ground. However, if you reprint the map larger, and it is 10 centimeters wide, our scale will still be 1 to 10 according to the map. But now 1,5 centimeters represents 10 centimeters on the ground. So the answer to any scale calculation will now be wrong. When resizing the map, use the number scale and that it is important to know that the scale changes the map. Uh, this changes with the map. This is a disadvantage using a number scale. If we resize a map that has a bar scale on it, the size of the bar scale will resize with the map and it will therefore remain accurate. And this is an advantage of using a bar scale. An advantage of a number scale is that we only have to measure one distance we don't have to measure the length of one bar segment and then our calculation is fairly simple from that. Um, a disadvantage of using a bar scale is that we have to measure the length of one segment and the distance on the map and our calculation can be more calculated because we have to calculate how many segments fit into the distance measured on the map. Okay, so the advantage and the disadvantages. As a drawing a scaled map. We have now learned to determine the actual length and now we're going to draw a scale. In grade 10 the scale will be given to you. Okay, so you don't have to guess what the given is or the dimensions are. Draw a scale map of a room that has the dimensions of three meters by four and a half meters using a number scale of one to fifty. Okay, so you please have to to do that before we look at the memo. Um, in this work example we will add some furniture. So it's this room 
and uh, the scale is still 1 to 50 and now we have to add a couch 2 meters by 1.2 meter, oh, meters a window that's 2 meters long a table that's 1.5 meters wide and 2 meters long and what is nice is if you make these a small little papers and fit them into the room then it's a nice little scale it's quite cute all right this continues on the next one right um, drawing a scaled map a bedroom in the picture is three and a half by four meters it has a standard side bed of 92 centimeters by 188 centimeters and the bedside is 400 millimeters square so it's 400 by 400 Draw a full plan to show the layout of the room and use this number scale of 1 to 50. And the last one, um, divide into groups or get a couple of friends and measure and draw an accurate scale full plan of your classroom using a scale of 1 to 50. You will need to measure all the large objects, for instance the desks and the windows and the blackboard in the classroom and calculate the scale dimensions will be and then draw them carefully on your floor plan. Can you think of a different or better way to arrange the furniture in your classroom that everybody has more space? Okay, so now this question will vary from person to person so it's not included in the memo that follows. Please do the examples and the exercises, attempt them, ask around for, for some help and then before you look at tomorrow's memo. Thank you very much.